Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Andrea and today I have my first quarter empties for 2022. Last year I did my empties every month and it was just, it was too much for me. I, I'll be honest, I like, I like filming my empties videos. I don't watch as many empties videos, but I just figured it'd be easier to do it by quarter and then I only have to film four a year and I don't know. That's just the way I decided to do it this year. So let's go ahead and get started. First, I'm going to talk about a couple of declutters. So first, first. So if you saw my latest nightmare on Panning Street update, you'll know I decluttered a nail polish and a like kind of like a highlighter palette from Nomad. I don't have those down here, but I do have these three lip. Oops. Oh my. Where did you get? The lipstick but I do have okay. I do have these three lip products that I'm decluttering one is a ColourPop Ultra Blotted Lip in Cloud Chaser it just it, I have used up quite a bit of this but it just does not smell good anymore then I have the Sonia Kashuk gloss in Polished Plum it also does not smell good anymore and then the one that I'm most sad about is this little, oh my gosh, Madeline. It's this little lipstick sample from Finding Ferdinand in the shade Rose Gold. I got this in an Ipsy a long time ago. Here's what it looks like. It, it smells really bad. And I'm sad because I was saving it because I really <laughs> liked it. It was a really, I mean, this is super is that, is dry. That lipstick? Yeah, it was really beautiful, yeah. but. You put it in your lips. Well, not this one because it doesn't smell good. But it's gone bad, so I can't use it. So those are my declutters for the first quarter <laughs> of 2022. Do you want to come up here? <laughs> she wants to come up and then she hides her face. So I've got, oh my gosh, this is jam-packed full of stuff. And I've got three other empties that are sitting out that I haven't done project updates for. So I'll do those first. So these are spoilers for some projects. First is this Peach and Lily Glass Skin Water Gel Moisturizer. I really liked this. This is the travel size. It's a very, it's a very thin, like it says, it's a gel moisturizer. It's very thin. So this is better for me during the day when I don't want like a super thick heavy cream on. It's fine at night as well but I just prefer it during the day but this is gone. I really did enjoy that. I actually have I believe a full size in my backup skincare collection. I just haven't opened it yet. Is this gone? Whoa. Yeah. Can you pick that up for me please? What's this called? That's a hair mask. Next I have this Pharmacy Very Cherry Clean cleansing balm. It is completely empty. I did actually really like the smell. It smells like maraschino cherries and almond to me. But as you'll see later in my empties, I have found another cleansing balm that works just as well that is way cheaper that I would purchase over pharmacy products. But this is gone. Next we have my Macadamia Professionals hair mask. Is it? Again, empty. I love these a lot. I have one more in my new, next Fifty Shades project and then I don't have any more. So after that, I'm gonna... After that, I have some other hair masks that I need to use. But once those are done, I'm gonna be hunting at TJ Maxx because that's where I can find these for cheap -er. and once I can no longer find these at TJ Maxx, I will be sad and have to find something else. But that one is gone. Okay, so let's... I'm just going to start grabbing random things from here. Um, and I, I do like to do, like, bath skin hair stuff and then makeup at the end. This is empty. It is empty. They're all empty. This is my Fig & Honey Body Wash from Ulta Beauty. I have come to realize... Like, I like the Ulta Body Washes. I think... I think the scent, the scent lingers quite well, actually. 
And they are they are a bit cheaper than the Bath and Body Works ones, which are not cruelty free, and these are. So that's another big plus. But I have come to realize I just are you a cat? I just don't think I like the scent of fig. Like, not that it was terrible, but it definitely wasn't my favorite. And I have a bunch of other shower gels. I don't... Like, Ulta cycles through scents pretty quickly, so I don't even know if this is a scent that they carry anymore, or it might just be a seasonal scent. But I would definitely repurchase Ulta body washes. I wouldn't repurchase this one. Okay, we gotta put this to the side, because that can be recycled. Okay, next... I have this Pixie Vitamin C Tonic Toner that I got as a little gift from Valerie. So thank you, Valerie. I really did enjoy this. There is, it looks like there's a little bit left, but like I literally cannot get it out of the bottle. So, but I actually really like this. I used it in my hands. I don't like using, well, one, I don't use like cotton balls or cotton pads or anything for stuff like this. And I also don't use my reusable like makeup rounds because it just soaks in and like doesn't transfer to your face this has like i don't know what it is that's in it mm -hmm. that gives it like this tiny this little bit of a slip so when you pour it into your hands you can actually get it and cover your whole face with it and i really i really did enjoy this once my plethora of toners is gone which probably won't be for a year i might purchase this like a full size of this okay that can be recycled Next, another Billy Shave Cream. I have, I think, three or four more of these as backups. Then I have this, I just have this Vanny Cream Shampoo. When I was having my skin issues, the dermatologist told me to get shampoo and face stuff from this brand because it's fragrance-free, dye-free, blah, blah, blah. So that's the only reason that I have this, and it is gone. I mean, this is not... Outside of having skin issues, that's not something that I would repurchase. And it, I don't believe it was cruelty-free, but I'm like, you know, we're going to buy what the dermatologist tells me to buy. So then I have an Andalou Naturals Illuminating Toner. Empty. I mean, if you've seen any of my empties videos, you know that I love this stuff. And I have three backups because I love it that much. So, yeah, I'm going to continue to repurchase this as long as... They make it. Honestly, I I use toner because people like skincare people say you should. I don't I don't know that it really does anything for me, but I figure it's not hurting and this smells like oranges, so why not? Oh my goodness. Okay. Um this is probably like a decade old. This is a St. Ives travel size body lotion. I use it as hand lotion and it is gone. I have nothing else to say about it because St. Ives is not cruelty free. So why, I would not repurchase. Why is it so empty? Because I used it. This is or was an apple pie body bar from Copacetic Cosmetics that I think I got in one of their subscription boxes when I was still getting their subscription boxes. I didn't actually use it on my body. I used it to clean off my reusable makeup rounds after I was done removing my makeup just to get like the extra stuff off of there before I threw in the laundry so that is gone. Um, my Pacifica coconut milk face wash. This is like when I use this this is my shower wash so I have I have like a, a Shea Moisture soap bar that I use on my face in the mornings and then when I take a shower, when I wash my face in the shower, this is what I would use. I currently have something else in my shower that I'm trying to finish up, but I do have a backup of this. I've gone through so many bottles of these. Like I, I've been, I've, oh my gosh, now I have to readjust. I've been buying these for like two and a half years and I will continue to buy them. And I will continue to buy them until Pacifica decides to discontinue it. I have this travel size tree hut cocoa colada sugar scrub I really like the tree hut scrubs I would just I would buy a full size over a travel size I think I just saw this at Target and I was like I mean it's still it does smell like coconut and pineapple 
not that there's anything wrong with the scent per se, but I like some of their other scents better. And they have like a new seasonal candied lemon scent that's only at Ulta that I really want to try. But I've got, I've got a lot of sugar scrubs that I need to get through before I will allow myself to buy one or buy another one. So hopefully I get through more so I can buy that one because their lemon blueberry tart one, which was a limited edition scent, was delightful. And I really love lemon scent. Anyway, but anyway, this is done. Let's see, I have another hand, well, another. The St. Ives wasn't a hand cream, but that's what I use it as. I have a hand cream from The Body Shop in Almond Milk and Honey. It was fine. I probably would not repurchase just because I know The Body Shop has got like the MLM thing going on. And I'm just, I don't use hand cream that much. I don't even know why I bought that one. I finished my Good Molecules Caffeine Energizing Hydrogel eye patches. These were nice, especially I kept them in the fridge and they were like nice and cooling when I used them, but I would forget to use them. Like these were in Fifty Shades of Purple and they were in for an embarrassingly long time because I would always forget to use them. And I know like Valerie and Jaylon and maybe even Deb use, like they like to use these while they're doing their eye makeup. I tried that once or twice. And well, one, I just, I don't like doing my eyes before I do my base. That's just the way that I roll. And two, I found that when I did that, the leftover, like even though it, it dries down and it's not like I had globs of serum left over on my face or anything, but by the time I put my base on what was left, of the serum just like pilled and it made my under eyes look really bad. So I, if I happen to get eye gels, pat, or if I happen to get eye patches, like I got these in the Beautylish Lucky Bag for 2020, for 2020. Um, I will use them. I'm not gonna go out of my way to buy these or any other eye patches. Then there's this OC C-Biotic Water Cream. I actually got this through Influencer. I I did not like it. Like, I, I liked it at first, but it was just, like, the more I used it, it was just really harsh, which is weird because it's supposed to be, like, vegan, and it says it's a nutrient-rich weightless water cream, and I don't, I don't know. I just, my skin did not like this. I, it was, this is $54. Like, this is expensive. And it just was so harsh. I don't get it. I actually ended up using this, I think, on my legs as, like, a, a body moisturizer. Because I just, I had, like, half a tub left. I could not use it on my face. So I'm glad that's gone. This is the other cleansing balm that will replace my pharmacy one. Although I am, I do have the Shop Miss A one that, like, I know Kim and Deb rave about it. So I'll give that one a try, but I do really like this one. This is the Derma E Universal Cleansing Balm. I think I have the price written down, but I believe this is like $14.99 versus the, that Cherry Clean, which was a limited edition scent. That one was $34, so, and this one smells like oranges. It smells good, and I really, I really enjoyed this one a lot, actually. It's vegan, cruelty-free, all that stuff, and I would definitely repurchase this. Okay. Then I have this Ulta Beauty Blueberry Bliss, Blueberry. Then I have this Ulta Beauty Blueberry Bliss Sorbet Cream. This is actually a product that is not on Ulta anymore, so I couldn't repurchase it if I wanted to, which I don't really want to. It smelled really, it smelled like blueberries, like kind of fake blueberries, but it wasn't quite rich enough for nighttime, but the fragrance was so strong that I didn't want to put it on in the daytime and then have, like, put makeup on top of it. So this is done. Can't repurchase because it's no longer something that they carry. Wouldn't repurchase anyway. Then I've got two different, like, bath fizzy foot soap things. This first one is from All Mixed Up Lacquers. It was something that I picked up in Polish Pickup. I'm trying to remember. There were 
I think there were six like little fizzers in here. And then this Sweet and Shimmer Bath Bomb and Sweet Pomegranate. These are just, I use them in my foot bath. So this one was gigantic. I mean, it's a bath bomb. But also I got this at Ulta and I don't think Ulta carries this brand anymore. So I wouldn't buy it, rebuy, I, ugh, I wouldn't repurchase this anyway because this is too large. These were really nice. They were just, they were small enough where it was like just enough for a foot soak and they all had like different scents and I really enjoyed them. Um, I currently have a couple left from a different pack plus some other bath fizzers, bath foot soak things that I'm using. So I wouldn't, I don't know. And then I have some bath salts that I'm going to use as like foot bath soak coming up in my new 50 shades. So I'm not going to have to repurchase these or anything like this for a while. But next time these are on polish pickup, I probably will get a couple more packs because it's nice. Like the bath salts that I have that I'm going to be putting in my 50 shades project. I mean, it's just, it's a giant tub. There's no, you kind of have to eyeball it. Those are, they come in little separate things and you don't have to think about it, which is nice. Okay. I have a couple more. I have this bath fundamentals lotion, just something I'm sure I got from a hotel at some point. The super old Bath and Body Works Japanese Blossom or Japanese Cherry Blossom Bubble Bath. I actually used this up as a shower gel because I do not really care for bubble baths that much. I mean, it's Japanese Cherry Blossom. I think everybody knows what that scent smells like and it's gone. So that's really all that I have to say about that one. <laughs> then I have this Pacifica C and C Love Vitamin Serum. This was fine. I... I don't think I really noticed much difference using this on my skin. It's just for me an extra like layer of hydration. I, even though I also don't really know that it does much for me, I prefer the Glow Baby from Pacifica over that, which is what I'm using right now. So that one I would repurchase this one. Probably not. Okay. Oh. Okay, I think I've got three more non, four more, whoop, four more non makeup things and then the makeup. What, babe? Because I almost dropped something. First, there was. I almost dropped. Um, something. First, there's this Urban Veda Radiance Exfoliating Facial Polish. This was something I got in like a free gift with purchase from Ulta. Mm -hmm. It was, mm -hmm. Madeline, please be careful. I don't want you to knock my tripod over. I wasn't. Well, you bumped it. It was fine. It did, if I recall, it had I like recall. a fragrance because it is turmeric and botanics. But I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Depending on how expensive uh, it was, uh, it might be something that I would repurchase. But, I mean, I have other... Other facial exfoliators that I like, so I'm not too in a, I'm not in a hurry for that one. Then I have these two little like sample minis, whatever of one is a body butter, one's a sugar scrub. These are from My Body Bakery, which is an Australian like bath body company. I don't know what's going on. I could not access their website, so I hope they're still in business. But this was the Lemon Squares Sugar Scrub, and this was the Rose Water Lemonade Body Butter, and they were both heavenly. And if the like little sampler pack that these were a part of ever comes back and they ever open up their website again, and Lisa was willing because they are an Australian company and they only ship within Australia, so if you want them, you need to know someone in Australia, I would probably get those again because they smell really good. And then... Even though this is for cleaning brushes, I'm not counting it as makeup because it's not makeup. This is my EcoTools makeup brush and sponge cleaner. It's fragrance free. It works really well. I really like it. Okay. Oh, hold on. Before we do that, Mama's going to throw this stuff in the recycle 
because I need to create some room. Okay, I'm back. I had to take a little intermission. So now on to the makeup things. I do count like perfume and nail products in my makeup, so I'll start with those. This is a perfume sample from Copacetic Cosmetics in the scent Spring Forward. I, not that it was bad. It was just very strongly floral and it's not, it's not a scent that I super prefer. So I'm glad that that is gone. For nails, I finished one of my Ulta Beauty nail polish removers. This was the strawberry scented one. I just, I wanted to see cause you know, like <laughs> smelling pure acetone isn't the best. I would just get the pure acetone one. One, because it's a better value, and two, like, honestly, I'm not, I'm not sniffing nail polish remover, so. Are you coming up now? Okay. I finished the Sally Hansen Hard as Nails Hardener, which did absolutely nothing. Could be, because it was like 10 years old, but. I finished. My C and D sticky base coat. I actually did really like this base coat, but I don't know if they're cruelty free. Um, did I buy? I have. I haven't opened it yet, but I bought the Orly like bonder that I haven't used yet, which Orly is cruelty free, so hopefully that works. But this is going. That's also very old. Making things very difficult for me. I finished three mini nail polishes. First is this mini from Julep in the shade Dolores. It is beautiful. I believe I have a full size of this. I finished two from Cascade Polish. This is in the shade Cornucopia. This one, the next one. Yeah, and you can't, but you can't see. You gotta hold it by the handle. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, and this is in the shade Fireworks. <laughs> So these are both done. Wow. Madeline, come on, you're making things very difficult for me. Wow. I just want to get through this and finish. Used up a Real Techniques sponge. Now, oh, yeah. Very exciting. I finished my Oma Beauty Say What foundation. I love this. This is my absolute favorite foundation. This is in the shade Fair Lady T3C. This is more summer shade for me. It's a little too dark for winter time, but I really loved that. Um, I, oops, I finished this Rare Beauty Illuminating Primer. This is just the travel like half size. I really did like this. And once I get through a lot of my other primers, I would probably repurchase this in a full size. Madeline, come on. I finished my BH Cosmetics Matte Finish Pressed Powder. Of course, BH Cosmetics is out of business. You can no longer buy these. It was fine. This took me forever to use up. I also finished up an ELF Perfect Finish HD Powder. This is a translucent white powder. It's I mainly use it to set underneath my How eyes. Is this? Like that. I have two setting sprays that I finished. First is my Ulta Beauty Wannabe Active Makeup Setting Spray Broad Spectrum SPF 50 Sunscreen. I did not like this at all. Like it it what? smelled like sunscreen, which is not the worst thing, but this is also old, so I didn't actually use it. What is this called? For sunscreen, and I just I didn't I didn't like it. Hold on, honey, that's, I'm not showing that yet. And then I have this Tarte Stay Spray. I'm not showing that yet, honey. This was this was fine. I got this as my free diamond gift at Ulta last year. Otherwise, I never would have purchased it. I still. At one point, I thought it was going to overtake the all-nighter, but no. I like the all-nighter a lot better, so that is done. Let's see. Very exciting. I finished my, I finally finished my Maybelline Master Glaze blush stick. I even dug everything out. This was the little clamshell that I had it in. I finished this up in my Panners Pan project for Elizabeth, and... This is totally done. This is also like a decade old, so I'm glad that it is 
finished. What is this called? And that's a lip gloss. We're not going to show that yet. Then I have two mascaras. The first is this Ruby May Glam Queen Mascara. This is something that when... Is this empty? Yes. This is something that when Lisa got all of her giveaway winnings sent to my house and we went through them, this was a mascara she let me keep. I don't know if it was just old or if this is the formula. This was so dry. It was so dry. I did not like this at all. I think I use it for a month and I was just like, okay, I can't deal with this anymore. I'm not, I'm done. I have this Clinique High Impact Mascara. I am assuming, I honestly don't even remember using this, but I know I must have, like I know I did because it's in here, but until I saw it, I didn't remember that I used it. I don't remember what I thought about it either. And it's not like I, it's not something I would repurchase anyway. So I guess it doesn't really matter. Then I have two eyeliners. One is this Jante Blue Ultra Lasting Liquid Eyeliner. This one was pretty good. This was another one that was something that Lisa wanted to give away that she let me keep. And then I have this Creme Gel Liner from ColourPop. I don't know. Did I write down what shade it was? I mean, I don't know because like all ColourPop eyeliners, the writing wore away. I think I think it was the shade Charmer. It was like this really dark plummy brown. Anyway, I, I used most of it and then right at the end the rest of it fell out. So <laughs> onto the floor. So I I used most of it so I'm calling it an empty. And then we have all of my lip products which might not seem like a lot but I have I have six lip product empties for the first quarter. I think that's the same amount of lip empties that I had all year last year. So first I have this Ulta Beauty Automatic Lip Liner in clear, which it's all the way rolled up. That is empty. Then, yes, thank you, Madeline. Then I have this, as you might remember from my Fifty Shades of Purple, the Sparkly's Glitter and Gloss lip gloss sample that was the bane of my existence all year. It's finally done. I have my Burt's Bees Orange Blossom and Pistachio Lip Butter, which is finished. I have my Ulta Beauty Juice Infused Lip Oil, which looks really gross because there's like makeup particles on the bottom. I'm not showing that one yet. Then I have my Tarte. Tarte. Then I have my Too Faced Hangover RX Pillow Balm. This is like just the original. This is the travel size. I have that finished up. I really, really enjoyed this. I got the holiday set, so I have three more. Plus, I bought a full size in like the peach scent or mango or something. So I have a bunch of these. Yes, I did. And then my, for me, my most exciting lip empty is this Smashbox lipstick in Pretty Social. I used this in Panner's Bingo, and it is completely, well, not completely, I'm not digging it out, but it is all empty, so that is very exciting. So that is my empties. I showed all of those already, honey. So those are my empties for January, February, and March of 2022. So total, I had a total of 51 empty items. I decluttered five, but I don't count, I believe I said in the beginning, I don't, I'm just showing you so you know things are leaving my collection, but I don't count the values for those things because I didn't use them up. I used up 25 makeup items for a total of $234.69 and 26 hair, skin, and body care items for a total of $323.35 for a first quarter total of $558.04. Now, I know that a lot of the ladies doing the pan your way to 5K can do that in a month. I cannot. I, not to belittle their panning abilities at all, but I do know that a lot of them also get get or have gotten BoxyCharm with their incredibly inflated product prices and they're using those up and those cost a lot of money so 
That's part of the reason. The other part is they're just way faster panners than I am. But I am on par so far to hit over $2,000 worth of empties by the end of the year, which is my goal is to at least get to $2,000 worth of empties. Last year I did, I have it in this notebook, I gotta go back to it. Last year I did a total of $2,177 and I would, I would just like to hit that or above or at least get close. And I think based, and I think based on what I have done for these first three months, I can do it. So that will be my first empties video of 2022. I will, I mean, obviously I'll see you for other videos before then, but my next empties video will be in, can I do math? Probably the beginning of July, and we'll see how much more stuff I can use up during that time. So I, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. Let me know how you're doing with your empties this year. I'm really, like, yes, I know I include, like, that perfume sample, and I included all that nail stuff, but even without that, I mean, I finished up quite a few makeup products, like, more than I, more than I remembered that I had, so I'm really happy with the fact that 25 makeup products are leaving, or what I would consider makeup products, are leaving my collection. That makes me very happy. So... Again, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're staying. I don't know what she's saying. I hope you're staying safe and sane and healthy. And I will talk to you in the next one. Bye. Can you say bye?